In today's tutorial, I wanna show you how to use auto layout. We're gonna go through five steps of auto layout from the very simple and beginner steps to a little bit more complex. And I'm gonna show you all of the features of the tool, how to use it effectively to speed up your design so that you spend less time nudging pixels around and more time getting things done. So let's jump into it. For this first example, we're just gonna start with a simple button. And in the past, if you were to create a button, you'd have to type in your text, you'd have to draw your shape here, send it to the back, and then we would center it and space it out, group it, and now you have your button. But let's say you wanna take this button and then use it somewhere else on the website. And we're gonna change this to say, get started. Now the issue without auto layout is I have to go and adjust this manually. I have to center it. I have to you know, increase, decrease the spacing and all this stuff is just a waste of time. All of that is in the past. With auto layout, all you have to do is just type in your text. So button, for example, and then you just have to click shift A to apply auto layout. Now that we have auto layout applied, we can just add our fill to the object and add rounding. And now I essentially have the same button. If I wanna add more space on the sides, all you have to do is just drag this here. Or the other thing is you can literally click here and do 24 pixels. It'll add 24 pixels of padding to this side and you can do 24 pixels here. So you can do it both ways. You can do it either on this object or on the right here. So that's really sweet. And let's say we wanna add this icon to our button as well. Well, now all you have to do is just drag your icon, drop it, and we have it there. But let's say we wanna decrease the spacing here from the text to the icon, make it a little bit closer. So I'm just gonna select this object and this little 10 here, if, you, if I drag this, you're gonna see how it scales and gets closer or further away. So that's a simple way to use auto layout for buttons. Now let's move on to the second step, which is organization. I love using auto layout to organize things like these icons, for example, say I have a bunch of icons, I just click auto layout and they all jump into alignment. And same thing here, if I wanna increase the spacing, currently we only have 16 pixels vertical space and we have 64 horizontal. So if I want, if I want these to be uniform, I just click 64 and now the spacing will be even. And as you can see, if I drag the width shorter, it starts to kind of wrap around and that's because we have this wrap selected. If I just change this to the sideways arrow, it's going to just go horizontally. Same thing with vertical. So that's one way that you can quickly organize things. And I can change the alignment if I wanna have a center aligned instead of left aligned. You know, you can have bottom aligned, top left aligned. And you basically control all of the auto layout functions and features in this little panel here. Same thing with logos. Say I wanna put a logo bar on my website. I just click auto layout, it aligns all the logos and I can just quickly adjust and find a good layout for these logos. Boom. One thing though that you should keep in mind is if your logos aren't uniform in size, they might not auto layout perfectly. So this example here, I'm just gonna throw a few logos off to the side that are ungrouped and click auto layout. Now you can see how it doesn't perfectly align them just because this one's more vertical, this one's more horizontal. So just keep that in mind. The best uh, use case for this is just to have them in uh, uniform shapes. Now for this next use case, I love to use it for aligning lists. And for example, if you have a frequently asked questions or just a list of icons and text, what we're gonna do is select both of these objects. We're gonna click auto layout. And now we have our auto layout. Again, I could just space these out the text from the icon. I can also copy a few of these and you can just do Command D and it'll copy the same distance as the previous object that you copied. And I can click Auto Layout. And one thing I wanna show you also is, if for example, you wanna add a line, let's say we have this line and we have this divider line, but currently it doesn't go all the way to our, the edge of our container. So all you have to do is select this line and where it has the width here, you just click fill container. And now this line will resize and grow and shrink with our container. Likewise, if I want my text to scale, if the container gets small and it kind of cuts into the text, I want it to wrap around here. 
I'm going to select this object and I'm going to say fill container and then also the text that's nested within that auto layout component, I'm going to click fill container. So if for some reason you're scaling things and they're not working, that just means that whatever the auto layout object inside of the auto layout, it doesn't have the right settings applied. So you can see I applied it to these two and now I can scale them. For this next example, I want to show you a drop down pill like this. So we have our title here on the left and on the right, we have a little drop down arrow. So you would just create these two objects, select them, click auto layout or shift A. And now I want to align them horizontally. So we're going to add our stroke to this object and let's add some rounding. Let's make it gray. And now if I drag this, the text stays on the very left side and then this little carrot stays on the right side. The reason why it's spread out is because we have the auto selected here. If I just had a pixel distance, it would stay that distance away. So 87 pixels in this case. Let's say I want to have 12 pixels and I want to have this icon on the left, similar to the way that we treated the button, it'll stay there. But again, if you want the object to be on completely opposite sides, you just change this from six to auto and it'll jump to the opposite direction. For this next example, I want to show you all of this kind of stuff that we just went through working together in one card. And this is nice because now I can just quickly and easily drag this and resize it however I need. So for example, say I design a desktop and I'm using this little sign up form. I can do that and then I can drag it out. I can put my text on the left. And I don't have to sit there and rebuild things and move them around and, you know, change the width of things. It's all resizing easily. And let's say, for example, I want to scale this now onto a mobile device. So let's just do 400 pixels. Now all I have to do is just drag it, center it, and boom, we have our design in both places. So that's the, really the, the beauty of auto layout. And let me just show you how to build this from scratch here. So I'm just going to ungroup all of this. So we have our text here at the top. We're just going to select the text. We're going to apply auto layout. I have my image here. If you want it to scale like this, you just have to make sure that it's on the fill mode. Cause if I change it to cropped and if I change it now, you can see that it's kind of getting all skewed and weird. So let's do fill. And also another thing to keep in mind is Figma just added aspect ratio which will keep the aspect ratio of the image when it scales within an auto layout component. But for this example, I like it without the aspect ratio because the image kind of scales up and it just looks better. So now we have our text at the top, we have our image and we'll just gonna, we're just gonna make sure that this container is hugging the contents within it. So if you, if you just drag it out and adjust it, it's gonna be that wide this auto layout container but if we do hug it's just going to hug the contents within so we have our text we have our image let's add our little input fields here so i'm going to have enter name shift a boom we have that let's add a stroke and some rounding now i'm just going to left align this let's make it gray we're going to put the title next to it Let's drop in our little carrot there. Again, select this object, click auto. Now it's on the sides. Let's add 12 pixel spacing from the, from the edges here. And now I'm gonna group both of these auto layout components within another auto layout component. And I want this distance to be 16 pixels. And now one thing I wanna do is when I drag this, I want both of these to scale, not just stay static. So I'm gonna select both of them. I'm gonna change it to fill container. And now when we drag it, you can see how it's resizing. So we have that, great. I'm just gonna copy these. We're gonna add our password here and zip. And let's say I wanna have this little location pin. I'm just gonna paste it, click this arrow. And instead of auto, I'm gonna have six pixels. And now we have that in place. Boom, easy. Next thing here is creating this guy. 
this text. So I'm gonna group or select both of these, click Shift A and make sure that this is fill container, this text, so that when we scale it, again, it's gonna scale down. And finally, we have our button here at the bottom. So same thing, I'm gonna select it, click Shift A, add the blue color, surround it. And then I'm just going to expand it. So we have our base elements for the card. And the really cool thing about Figma is I can just draw a container at this point, select it and click auto layout. And it will know that that object in the back there is the container that you want. You can add your rounding to your card. And here's where you can kind of adjust how much spacing you want on the sides. So you can see these four here. So this is 24 on the left, four on the right. So let's make it 24. Let's make 30 here and 30. And now that it's sitting within this card, I want this to be fill container. For width, we're gonna change fill container. And you can create more kind of auto layout components within the card to space things out however you want. So I want these to be, let's say 16 pixels. And then I want all of these within here to be 24 pixels away from each other. The button, we want to make sure that it's fill container. And then same thing here for our text. We want to make sure that it's fill container. Cool. So let's just make sure that this is also fill and that these are fill. Remember, you have to make sure that the text says fill container as well. And there we have it. We have our card that you know scales and resizes, so it's pretty sweet. And one last thing about auto layout, say for example, you wanna add a little icon somewhere and you don't want it to be, or you're having a hard time kind of aligning it to a specific area. You want it to be maybe like, let's say I want this to be like a background blur. So this is obviously not working. All you have to do is click this little icon. It says ignore auto layout and now it can live freely outside of the kind of restraints of the auto layout. So that's just another little hint there. But yeah, that's kind of all you need to know about auto layout. Of course, you can get a little bit more uh, in detail with all of the, the features and settings, but this is essentially all you need to, you know, build dynamic and scalable designs. If you enjoyed that video and you feel like you learned something, drop a like, subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments what design tutorials you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.